Hey Floss Tube friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris. Today is Friday, November the 4th, 2022, and I'm here today with the Floss Tube Extra. Um, I thought it might be fun um, to take stock of the kits that I seem to have acquired over the last few months. If you watch my channel for a little bit, you might have noticed that um, I think I've developed a little bit of a sub addiction and seem to be wanting to collect all of the kits. I'm not I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just the convenience that everything is there together. I don't know if maybe it's the artwork because a lot of kits do you know feature they they're often I believe um you know representations of artwork that exists out there in the world that you know you can buy a print of that same artwork type of thing so I'm not sure why why I've developed this addiction but I did notice that I was acquiring quite a few so I thought for myself it might be fun to kind of go through and see what I have acquired and how many I, I've sort of accumulated and and it might be fun for you guys too to see um, again some of the kits that are out there that maybe you might be interested in some too. So so let's get started. I think the um, the first ones I'm going to show you are the ones that are actually works in progress. I'm not going to show you the stitching. Um, I'm going to save that for later um, next month. I'm going to kind of do my end of year wrap up and do a whip parade. But I will just show you the images of the kits that I'm currently working on. So. So yeah, so the first one, this is a fairly recent start, is this Dimensions Gold Petite called Quiet Night. Um, this is the one I said the artwork is by Fred Swan, and you'll see I have a few more, um, well a couple more of um, his kits here that I have purchased and have waiting in the wings to be started. But um, So this is just a sweet little winter picture that I just thought was cozy, and there's that cute little fox there. So this one I have just just started but don't have much done but you'll see that next month another one is this kit by Marejka I, I think maybe that's how you pronounce the um the manufacturer's name um but this is called horses and I really like this style of sort of there's this you know central image and then there's these extra little bits um, around the outside. You can't see very well these little um, dandelion tufts here, but they're they're quite delicate and sweet. So that's one I've started. This is a Luca S kit that I'm currently working on. It's called the Hunter, it's called Hunter and Foxhound is the name of the kit. And then I have a couple of stocking kits that I'm working on. So this is the stocking that I've started for my husband. It's called Santa's Truck. And then this one you haven't seen for a while. But this is an old out of print dimensions kit called Gifts for All. And this is a stocking I'm doing for myself. And I actually am not that far from finishing this stocking so well I shouldn't say that I'm not that far from completing the stitching on the stocking but there's a lot of back stitching and other sort of specialty things I I believe the reins are like a braided gold thread I haven't read all the instructions yet so that'll be in fact I believe this whole bridle that braid is sort of couched along the edge of the bridle. So it's gonna be quite beautiful when it's done, but I'm a little bit intimidated, but I'll just break it down step by step when I get there. But yeah, the stitching, I believe I just have a little bit to finish in this coat. Well, not a little bit, maybe a lot, but. Okay, so those are all the kits that I'm currently working on. So now I'll go through the ones that I have in my stash. So. I have a couple of the Mill Hill kits. You did see this one recently. So this is the Jim Shore, the Santa with the Cardinal. And this does come with, pardon the glare, I'm filming in front of a window today because it's a little bit dull and I thought this would give me a little bit better light. Plus I'm in my bedroom so it gave me room to spread the kits out on my bed. So 
So yeah, so these mill holes, you're probably familiar, come with the perforated paper and the threads and the beads. You can see there's the needles there, the tapestry needle and the beading needle. I am thinking maybe when I do decide to stitch this one, that I might stitch it on fabric rather than the perforated paper. And I might try and do um, like a soft finish, like a, do like a, I wanna kind of try and stuff it a little bit so it's a little bit padded. Um, but I'll have to work that out. I just kind of have the rough idea in my head, but we'll see when I do get around to stitching him. But I just really like the colors in that. I like Santa's expression and the little cardinal. It's very sweet. The other buttons and beads, or sorry, the other mill hole I have is a buttons and beads kit. Um, this is Lakeside Retreat. I love that there's a little dog in there. Reminds me of my relationship with all my dogs that I've had. Um, this reminds me my brother and sister-in-law have a cottage up in Northern Ontario. It's right on the water. It's quite beautiful up there. And this sort of reminds me of some of the time we've spent up there at their cottage. And just reminds me of, you know, it's very peaceful and relaxed. So hope to stitch that. I did think I might like to try um, eventually. I have like a Halloween buttons and beads and I have like a winter um, buttons and beads um, kits that I've completed. And I thought it would kind of be nice to have some seasonal ones that I could um, switch out and, and you know keep them hung on the wall. So I thought this would be a nice summer one. Okay, so this is a kit that I received from my friend Holly. Um, this is, uh, based on, um, a painting. It's, um, it's in the National Gallery in London, um, and it's an Arabian stallion. He's a racehorse and he belonged to the second Mar Marquess of Rockingham. And apparently it's the most well-known portrait of a horse. And the other fun thing is it's life-sized. But anyway, I thought he was quite beautiful. And Holly, when she had sent it to me, had said when she was thinking about stitching it, she wasn't gonna stitch, this is all background, like this is all stitched, all this background, that she was maybe going to put it on um, some hand-dyed fabric. So I do have a piece of hand-dyed fabric from Hand Dyed by Rolanda that I might consider doing that on. But yeah, so there's all those golds. <laughs> would make up your background. Anyway, so yeah, whistle jacket. Um, this was a kit that I had picked up off the freebie table when I was at Stitch North. Um, it's a Bucilla kit. Um, it's complete, it's got the fabric and the flosses in it. Um, I guess, it is a tiny bit dated and it's not exactly my style, but I still really liked the colors and I liked the subject matter and I liked the fact that it was a bell pull. Um, and I did think it was something that my mother-in-law probably would really enjoy because she loves flowers and wildlife. But I'm still undecided if this is something that I will eventually stitch for her. I just have so many other things on the go. But we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Uh, this was also a recent purchase that I believe I showed you. So this is a kit by Riolis. Um, Gentle Lilac. Sorry, I can't read backwards. Anyway, I just loved all of the shades of purple in that and I do love lilacs so there's the fabric and the flosses and it is floss I know some of the the realist ones are wool but this one's floss there's some other pretty ones eh? in the back like both of these are gorgeous this one 
is my Bothy Threads. This is a Ren Dale Designs, a artwork based on the artwork of Hannah Dale. It's called Christmas Donkey. I actually discovered this image. Um, I was sending a friend of mine. Hi, Nicole. I was sending a friend of mine um, a Christmas gift. And I knew that she um, liked Hannah Dale's artwork. So I think I was just looking for stuff. And I, I came across a, um, a mug that had this artwork on it. And I don't know. I just love that donkey. He's just so adorable. One of the little robins. So and again, it has all the fabric. It has the speckled Ada. I was considering, because um, I know Nicole did stitch one of her patterns. And I think there is some, I think it's Lugana that you can get that is white with the speckle. If you wanted a, you know, because you, obviously you don't stitch any of this white around here. So if you didn't want the, um, like the weave of the Ada, which is so much more obvious than if you just had a Lugana, like an even weave, then you could do that. So I haven't decided if I'm just going to use the kit Ada or if I will copy Nicole and see about getting the speckled Lugana. But so that'll be a fun stitch when I, I do it. Um, my next one is um, a fairly recent purchase. This is um, a kit that came out of Heritage Craft as a manufacturer. So it's manufactured in the UK. It's based on the artwork of John Clayton. And I just, I fell in love with this image. I love how like the moonlights, you know, you could tell that the moon's in behind this tree and the moonlight shining out and this horse sort of is at the fence, kind of like he's interacting with you, you know, if you're either coming out to see him or you're walking down the lane or just what it might be. And I just thought it was a really, really pretty picture. And I kind of, I like the, the size of it as well and the fact that it's round. So I'm looking forward to stitching that and... I think I might stitch it twice and stitch it for my sister as well. I even have an old um, circular frame, like, you know, for a plate back in the day, back in the 90s, um, that I'm wondering if this might fit in there or if it might look okay, but we'll see about that when we get there. But, but again, everything's in the back. It's DMC, so that's why it'll be really easy for me to stitch it a second time because I know what all the colors are and it comes with an even weave. So that's really nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that one. This is another one I can't remember. I think I may have shown this on my video, but um, this is another one I got. Um, it's an out of print um, and I got it on the secondhand market. This John Clayton, I know if you go to Heritage Crafts website, um, they do have a lot of these circular ones based on his artwork, but I couldn't find this one, but I have seen it on the secondary market that you know you can find it through Etsy or eBay or things like that but but this one was one I found on one of the D stash the Canadian D stash sites and I had never seen this um kit before um Santa's Woodland Friend and this is by the same artist that um did my stocking So Donna Race is her name. So there's my stocking. And there's this one. So I just thought that would be really pretty too to have both of those hanging up during the holidays. So, and it's just a petite. And again, all the fabric, all the floss, it's all there. This was also another kit. I showed this in an earlier video that I had purchased through a D stash site. Um, I had never seen this kit before and I just thought it was quite cute with all the cats and all the different things that they're doing. Um, I do feel the colors dated a little bit. And again, I don't have any immediate plans to stitch it, but I do really like the artwork and may someday decide to pick it up whether I stitch it as is or whether I decide to change the colors
This one, again, that was one I, re I purchased fairly recently and showed in a video, but this is a Dimensions kit. It's called Peking Pups. I know it's a lot of black and gray, but I just, again, fell in love with the artwork. I love the expression on that little guy's face. They are just too cute. This is one I purchased recently. It's called In Harmony, another Dimensions. And I just, <laughs> I really liked the expression on these wolves' faces. They just look happy and content to me. Um, and again, I don't mind these colors. I know it's, there's not a lot of color, like variation in color there, but I like this palette and I don't mind stitching this type of palette. And it kind of reminds me, we, we have coyotes, um, coyotes around us. So every now and then you will hear them doing their thing off in the distance in the fields or the bush or wherever they might be. And so this kind of just reminds me of being outside at the end of the evening and hearing those coyotes talking to each other. Uh, three more, just three more left. So this actually was a recent purchase. I thought this was a score. I had seen um, Christine from Calico Whimsy. Um, hi, Christine. Uh, I'll link her, link her channel down below. But this was a kit that she had started um, a little while ago. And again, I just thought it was so pretty. And I love um, like the lighting in it. Uh, the lights coming from the cabin and the sky in the background, the reflection of the water, you know, the little robin here in the foreground and the deer family there. And it just was very cozy. And I just really thought the artwork was beautiful. And I actually found this on Amazon and it was like $12. So I couldn't not buy it like for $12 for this large kit. It's called Winter Cabin. And yeah, like I think it, it finishes by 10 by 15, like, so. Can't wait to do that one. So my last two are my favorites. Um, this is probably one of the kits I've owned the longest. When I first got back into stitching, I had received a Michaels gift card for Christmas. And I know, I think I'd been at work one day with my friend and worked a half day on a Saturday and she said she was going into Michaels and asked me if I wanted to come. And I thought, oh, I'll come, maybe I'll look at their cross stitch stuff because I'm starting to get back into that. And I had my gift card. And I found this kit, and that was back in the time when um, Michaels had like 50%, 55% off coupons. So I think at the time this kit was like $35 or something. So I was able to get it like at 50% off, and then I had my gift card. So I practically got it for free, I think. And now it's hard to find, and if you do find it, it seems to be fairly expensive. But... Um, Anyway, so this is more artwork. So this is Winter's Hush. And I've seen Pam from Pam's Crafty Corner um, stitching this one. Um, and I'll link her channel down below. But again, I just love that image. You know, there's little dogs with the ball in the yard. And there's a cat on the railing of the house. And it's just all so cozy, wintry, Christmassy to me. So yeah, that's beautiful and I can't wait to stitch that. It has like the gray Ada in there. And this one, <laughs> I love this one. So one's winter, one's summer. I could switch them out. So this is Summer Cottage and again, artwork by Fred Swan. Just like Winter's Hush is artwork by Fred Swan. So I just, I love the colors in this, the blues and the greens, and then the pops of the red. The Adirondack chairs. The two golden retrievers, yellow labs, I'm not sure what they are. 
But yeah, I just thought that was really pretty. So that's Summer Cottage. So, so many, so many great, great kits. I'm not sure when I'm going to get get to them but I can't wait and they're sitting here waiting for me when I am ready which is wonderful and um, I look forward to starting them and hopefully completing them someday and getting them hanging on my wall because I really like the artwork in them so so thank you so much for um, stopping by to check out my kits and let me share them with you um, I was hoping to put maybe like a, a number so you will know before I know right this second how many kits I actually own and um, that was part of what I wanted to do was sort of document that and, and see how many I have at this point in the game. So, um, so yeah, so that's how many I have. <laughs> and um, I do hope to, obviously I'll be doing my month end wrap up at the end of November, talk about a little bit about my December plans um, in that video. And then in December, I hope to put out a planning video where I just talk about my plans for 2023. And then at the end of December, I will do my monthly wrap up that I'm going to blend it in with my year end wrap up. And I'll do like a year end whip parade in that video. So, so those are some things I have planned um, for the next couple of months type of thing. So, so until next time, take care. Bye.